you doing this evening we're so glad that you have chosen palettes to come celebrate with us today i am nardo franklin i will be your instructor this evening okay we're going to be painting two amazing paintings tonight and they're very simple so if you feel like you're going to get messed up don't worry about it we'll fix it for you we're going to show you step-by-step -step instructions here at palettes these are the two paintings that you're going to be painting tonight okay so Make sure that you have all of your supplies. You're going to need a paint palette with paint on it, of course. You're going to definitely need two brushes, a cup of water, and some napkins. Will you have those supplies together? I'm so ready to get started with you, okay? So let's go ahead and get those supplies, and then we're going to go into our next steps, all right? All right, Palace guests, we're ready to get started with you this evening. Okay, one thing to remember, paint does stain. So make sure at all costs that you're protecting your clothes, you're protecting your hair, you're protecting anything that you do not want damage to, all right? Also remember that the paint is non-toxic, so it will wash off your hands, okay? So don't be alarmed. We're gonna go ahead and get started with our first step. Our first step is pretty easy. The first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna start with your background. I have my paint palette ready and I also have my biggest brush. The technique that you're gonna use for this background is very simple. It's really just a lot of X's, but the key thing is to make sure that we do not over blend. I repeat, do not over blend because you're gonna get mud and nobody likes mud. So we're gonna go ahead and get started, okay? I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to start with one of my lightest colors and I suggest that you start from the outside and then you work your way in. Make sure that you're using light layers because if you use heavy layers of paint, it will not dry fast and you definitely want to be able to take your paint home. Okay? Using colors next to each other will also blend the colors. So if you mix purple and blue together, you're gonna to mean blue and pink, you're gonna get a little purple. Okay? So be careful not to over blend. And make sure you get close as you can. Okay, so both paintings are gonna have the same background and the same technique. I'm gonna show you really slow how to do this just so that you are able to master the task. You're gonna take your brush and you're gonna do X's just like this. And when you go to your next color and you put beside it, you're gonna make sure that your next color is lightly blended with the previous color that you used. And those X's are going to form a pattern just like a puzzle piece. You may clean your brush in between colors or you don't have to. But it just depends on what color you're going to next. So I'm going to clean my brush. And as I clean my brush, make sure my brush is completely clean. I'm going to go into my next color beside the yellow and I'm going to continue my X's. You 
you want to make sure that you complete co completely cover the entire background when you're doing this and also on the mask picture you also want to make sure that you get the eyes inside because that is very important that goes into the background and you might want to use your smaller brush if you have to but you're going to continue the same thing but you're going to make them smaller x's same technique you're also able to choose any colors that you would like to use And when you finish your eyes, you want to make sure that you have this color. Again, the key element to doing this is not to over blend. Okay? So continue, continue choosing your colors and laying your colors until your entire background is done. All right, so you want to keep picking colors and you want to fill them in as you go till your background is covered. And when you finish, it should look a little something like this. Again, with the mask, make sure that you get the eyes so that it looks continued throughout the whole entire background. All right, All right mask people. So we, at this step, what you're gonna do next is you're gonna continue to paint your mask in whatever color you choose, okay? So after you choose whatever colors you want, make it your own, be creative. You should have plenty of rhinestones, feathers, jewels, all kind of embellishments to make your mask look original, okay? That is the key point. Make it look as creative as you want it to be. All right, ladies, the one that's painted the lady. We're gonna pretend the background is done here, all right? So I'm gonna show you exactly how to paint your skin. Everybody loves beautiful skin. So it's important that we follow this step very closely and correctly. You're gonna take your smallest brush, which is this brush that I'm using now, and you're gonna dip it into your brown paint, okay? When you start uh, putting your skin on, you want to make sure you use long, smooth layers, okay? That is the key to making sure her skin is complete. Start by putting your layers on there. You're going to put multiple layers, okay? So always apply your first layer. Make sure it's smooth as possible. As you're applying that layer, you're going to let that layer dry, and then you're going to go back, and you're going to put another layer. Okay. If you want to make the skin lighter, I suggest you use a golden color and add a little white. And you're just going to take your time and get into the lines very nice and neatly. And remember that you, the key to making her skin smooth is to do long, smooth layers. No rush. Take your time. And you can get all the little aspects of it. Alright. All right, so ladies, you're gonna continue painting your lady, alright? Choose all the colors that you would need in order to make your painting successful. You want to make sure that you're using your small brush to get into the small crevices of the details as far as the feathers, the head, and all of those aspects, okay? Make sure that your painting is completely dry before you start embellishing. I know you're excited and you're ready to get to the jewels, but you got to make sure your painting is completely dry first, okay? After your painting is completely dry, then your painting should look a little something like this, okay? Your painting, if your painting doesn't look like this, well, hey, at least we have fun and you can say this is still an original. We want to thank you so much for choosing Palace to do your event this evening. We want you to check us out at www.palacefayetteville.com for your next event. We thank you so much, and we hope that you enjoy this event. Thank you. Hey, wait, one more thing. Don't forget to follow us, follow me, Nardo Franklin, at So Full Arts, So Full, S-O, F-U-L underscore arts 
on Instagram. Also, Nardo Franklin on Facebook. You can also find me at www.sofulartsgallery.com. That's S O F U L. Fool. So Fool Arts. All right. Nice to see y'all. Hope to see you follow me. All right. Yeah.